everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial for the bow that was featured in our September bow box, which was our autumn theme box, and the bow shape is the new poppy bow. Okay, so um, there's lots of you who've been asking how to put it together. Um, in the box this month, you would have just got one piece, like this, and a middle. What you need to do firstly, um, to cut out the shape, as you can see from the die, um, it comes with one piece, but to make the bow you need two pieces. They are identical, so all you need to do when you're cutting is put one piece on face up and one piece on face down. Obviously if you're using the template to hand cut it at the moment, um, you just do the same. So you just take your template, draw around it that way, and then flip over the template and draw around it that way. So you have two pieces that are identical but opposite. And your middle. Okay, so the first thing you need to do um, is to fold over to make your loop bow shape. To do this, you need to match it up to um, the point in the middle. So just go close up. You can see that you need to match it up to this point and the same on this side. So what you will be left with, how I work it out, is a sort of diamond shape in the middle. That's how you know you've glued the right place. Okay, so we'll just glue these now. Okay, so once you have glued your um, bow shape, you should have two pieces now, opposite again to each other, um, and that these will make the components for your bow. So the next part you're going to do um, is you're going to take both both of the parts and you're going to overlap them. Now you can. You could, there really is no right or wrong way here. You can overlap that side or you can overlap that side. I just prefer to put the right one on top. I have no idea why, I just find it easier that way. Okay, so then you need to glue this. Okay, I'm just gonna glue, paste a little bit of glue on this side. just glued it so you're just making sort of an axe shape I am using our um, new forest sprinkles which was in our autumn launch I find this is a good chunky glitter to use because it has a soft back so it the I find with this bow shape the softer the back the easier it is to pinch okay so as as I mentioned before, the next part you're going to do is pinch. So you need to fold um, fold from the bottom, pushing upwards, and then fold over at the top. And just pull your tails out as you do so. Just make sure you can't see inside of your bow. So once you've got your pinch, and you're happy with that, you need to take your centre. I always put a little bit of glue on the centre first. So we just do that. So I just put a tiny bit of glue there, and then I just put that onto the centre. Okay, so when you put your glue on and you put your centre there, you can slowly let go of the top of the pinch as you wrap the centre around so that will hold it and keep tight hold still of your bottom pinch and then pull that one under and let go of the bottom pinch. At this point now you can glue the, the centre at the back. Okay so once you've glued your centre you should then have a bow shape that looks like this. And that's ready to use. So what I'm going to do is just run through it again. So also I'm just going to show you how the bow looks if you put the tails a different way. So I'll show you that now. OK, 
Okay, so again now I'm going to show you how to recreate the same bow in the same size. So the one that was sent out mostly was the 5 inch, which is the larger bow. Um, we have got it available in um, six sizes all together, so they go from 5 inch down. So the next one down is 4.5 and a 3.5, which we have managed to get on the same die. And then we've got a smaller one, which is the 2 inch, 2.5 and 3 inch. So they're again all on the same die. So when the dies come out, they are great value for money. Okay, so again, you're gluing to um, the, the straighter edge. Glue to that point there and then glue the other one. What I've done this time is I've cut them both out the same way because um, instead of doing the tail um, facing out like I did on the green version this time I'm doing it so that the tails are faced in a different way on one of them this bow shape very much resembles the sewn bows so I know a lot of people um, make bows that um, are the hand sewn ones and then tied so what we've done is try to recreate a glitter version of a very classic bow shape so that obviously for those of you who can't sew can still recreate the same shape okay so again I'm going to um, put the right hand side one on top so firstly again I'm just going to glue these points I don't use a lot of glue when I'm putting these together because I find that helps when you're pinching. If you have a lot of glue, the fab it makes the fabric a lot stiffer to work with. Okay, so again, both sides are um, there. And again, I'm just going to overlap it on top like an X, so just using a small amount of glue. And again, we're just overlapping the bow, like an X shape, like a kiss. Okay, and you're going to again pinch from the bottom up, just folding into the middle, and then folding over at the top. I will say, it is it's much more tricky on um, chunky glitter. So if you want to practice, I would choose soft, fine glitters and things like our tartan fabric is a good one to work with um, and many of our finer soft back glitters. So if you, you're just learning how to recreate the bow, it's good to practice on a soft fabric. Okay, so again, once you've got your pinch and you're happy with it, always before you go gluing your middle on, Always just make sure everything looks right before you do because it's easier to fix at this point. Okay, so you're happy, both sides are equal. Just get your centre again. Just put it on there. And then let go of the top, fold it round, and then bring your underside over. And then at this point you do need to glue to, so you don't lose your pinch. Okay, then bring it back, and there you go. Again, so that's it's just a different way of you can put one of the tails facing out and one of the tails facing that way. So in comparison to your other one, where you've got both tails out at the bottom there, and then this one, you've got one tail that way. I hope you found I hope you found the tutorial useful today and I hope you have lots of fun recreating the poppy bows. We're gonna have a, a bit more practice now with the smaller ones so we can get some pictures up for you and then hopefully get this die listed by the end of this week. Okay, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.